Mini Blocks plays. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Mini Blocks Plays and what better way to kick it off than with Spider-Man vs the Kingpin on the eve of Captain America's Civil War. Should I read that? The gist of it is Kingpin is for some reason a TV presenter and is pretty much framing everything on Spider-Man like a very evil cigar smoking television host. It's not very nice really is it? Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Let's just go do it anyway. Basically, now Spider needs to go and save his reputation from the evil cigar smoking kingpin. Just, yeah, whatever. Easy. I just realized I put it on easy. Should I have not put it on easy? Okay, so here's the thing, right? I have started mucking around with this. My intentions was to do this Let's Play series pretty much from Christmas when I managed to get my uh, Sega Master System back. It was a whole other mess of trying to get things to work. Uh, so here we are. Finally I'm actually get it planned and this week is kind of how I'm looking at phase two of mini blocks. So let's start it off. And uh, I do actually know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be avoiding all these bystanders trying to, uh, ooh, I need to kick one of them. Trying to not hit the cops. Take this police. And uh, <laughs> That's good for my reputation. And then uh, go up to Winda and uh, get inside the Daily Bugle. Which is actually much, uh, in theory, easier than uh, said than done. This is going to take a while, isn't it? There we go. Didn't take long at all. Great! The Kingpin has convinced the city that I'm a bigger criminal than he is. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm confused. Okay, let's go. Sure, Mr. Jameson, but what if Spider-Man is innocent? Isn't that isn't that the story of every thing? Spider-Man's never innocent. Got that right, Mr. Jameson. Whatever you say. Just like being at work. All right. I'll stand by searching. <laughs> I can't free to think. I'll start by searching the warehouse near the harbor. That sounds like a plan. I'm already inside with these circus people, or in fact, they could be wrestlers. Take that! Oh, how dare you? How do I fight? Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Now I figured it out. You gotta hit the down button. Do I need to kick this guy in the face? I don't think I need to kick him in the face, but you know, there's never a, a good or a bad reason to kick someone in the face. Even if it's a dog. Take that dog. Dogs deserve to be kicked in the face. I feel like I'm doing quite badly on this so far. There's lots of oohs. I'm going to guess that's mutagen. It's a crazy dog. There's that circus man again. How many times do I need to kick you, a circus man? Take that. Oh, I missed. The music is, uh, it's not quite as catchy as you'd want it to be. You know, I mean, it's, it's fine. Fine is like the definition of good video game. I want to make a fine game. Which could be um, a mixture between it being like a, a very classy game and it being a 6.0. It depends how you, how you want to read into it realistically. What am I actually looking for? Am I just supposed to be fighting all the people? Because I feel like 
I've beaten them all up now. Or was I supposed to be using my secret special Spidey camera? I honestly don't remember. I remember part of this game. It didn't dawn on me till like middle of last year that this game actually existed. Um, I know when I was younger, I did play it. I borrowed it off uh, off my cousin actually, and uh, don't know why I didn't own it. It's come to my attention that there's a whole lot of games that would be absolutely perfect for me that I've never even played before, I mean, especially in like the Mega Drive series. This is Master System. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Sega Master System. Um, I think it's because when I was younger, I just went by what looked like cool box art, and uh, I didn't really know like what games were coming out. I didn't like bother with magazines so much or or anything like that. So uh, I guess if I wasn't really that like, clued in, then um, why would I? Why would I know? You know. Right. Something happened. I kicked that guy and then has gone crazy. I'm guessing this is how investigations work. You uh, find some people, you punch them in the head until some guy on his little pickup truck comes through. And then I'm guessing I'm supposed to... What? Kick him. Oh, he's got that, he's unconscious. It is still attacking me. Stop that crazy pickup, man. Ooh. It's Dr. Octopus. How dare you steal my memories. Memories? You stole my body, you thief. Different. It is not in this game. I feel like I defeated him far easier than uh, than I was expecting. Although again, I did put it on easy. My bad. All right, Duck. Why are you in this mess? Good question. You can't win, Spider-Man. The Kingpin has done a brilliant job of framing you. There really is a bomb. Good writing. But you'll need five keys to disarm it. You have one now, but not even I know where the others are hidden. You're finished, Spider-Man. See, this is why all the villains fail. If Dr. Octopus just didn't let him know that he had a key and that he needs five of them, unless it was a brilliant, brilliant plan by the Kingpin, which I'm going to guess that it isn't. But you know, this was a different time. This is the 90s. You could write this stuff and it was perfect. To be fair, you could probably do it now and I'd still I'd still buy it and play it. Although realistically, if we're all waiting for uh, Disney's Spider-Man game, I'm, I'm hoping for a little bit, a little bit more. Let's just throw that out there. So that's it. I've got to disarm the bomb before it's too late. Now where are the rest of the keys? I need help to solve this puzzle, but who can I trust? I think you can trust that sofa. That looks like a comfy turquoise sofa. Oh, there we go. And now it's back to 100%. Suddenly, a mysterious figure materializes. Look at that. It's Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange? How did you know where to find me? I know you are innocent, obviously. I don't really understand quite what the problem is. I did skip the opening dialogue. Spider-Man and I will help you to clear your name. Let my astral eye aid you in your search for the remaining keys. The lizard is back in town. You will find him in the sewers. I could have guessed that, to be fair. Sandman is wandering around Central Park. Oh! Hobgoblin is somewhere in Manhattan. I don't know exactly where. Electro is hiding in the power plants at the edge of town. I have fashioned this amulet for you, Spider-Man. If you find yourself in extreme danger, press the stone and it will teleport you home. This is all I can do for you now. Goodbye. Thanks. Nice to have Dr. Strange on my side. Now, who is most likely to know where Kingpin's lair is? 
I think I'll start with the sewers with the lizard. Well, I wouldn't have chosen that. This is where I, I believe I probably got to many years ago. <laughs> so I remember, I remember finding the lizard and he sneaks around uh, in the sewer, actually. It's, uh, Taking a stroll through the sewer, just like I normally do. No idea who that guy was. Take that, Stuart Little. Also, I guess I'm going to have to go and find every single enemy and kick him in the face to progress. Just like... Oh! That was most unexpected. <laughs> what the hell? Excuse me. This is... Difficult. Ah. I, oh, are you kidding? As if you just fall straight back down. I just spent all this time getting up. Honestly, Spider-Man, you should have spider sense about these things. And if you don't have spider sense about it the first time, then you should at least have it about the second time, you know? What are you doing? I could just do that, actually. I never thought about that. Clearly, I can't just do that. Right, so we're not staying down there. I think I'm out of webbing. No, I'm not. Maybe it just takes time to re... Uh, Recharge. A lot of this does seem familiar. Where's that green man gone in the suit? He needs a good punching in the face with my foot. Or in the shin. Because I don't actually think I can uh, attack any other way. This isn't going well, I'll take that. I feel like that might have been the last one, apart from that guy. Fool you! And again! And the other time. Well, there he is. If it ain't Splinter. Going so well. I don't know if I can die. I think I probably can. That might have been it. Why does it only get three characters? Why can't I be something else? Let's call it... Lab. Number 10. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? I'm number 10 and the only person who's played it that I know of. I guess that's as good as any place to end it with me being defeated by the lizard, but rest assured, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna beat the hell out of him and maybe I'll put it up next week. You know, 
If you like this video, do let me know, and I'm going to try and do some more Let's Play videos, hopefully more retro gamey. I did spend a fair bit of money trying to get this all set up, so it's all going to be Sega related currently. If you got any suggestions that you want me to play, then let me know. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Thank you very much for watching my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay with the latest from my channel. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest under many blocks. So what else would it be? And to keep it with the Spider-Man theme, go check out my Pop Home Spider-Man Salt and Pepper Shakers from Funko. And then you can go watch my Ultimate Spider-Man and Avengers Assemble Mystery Capsule. And then make sure to check back in next week, Wednesday, 5 p.m. for the continuation of Mini Blocks Play.